You are watching ABC 7 News at 5.30. Welcome back. A Suncoast family is mourning the death of their family pet. They say their dog was electrocuted when he stepped on a manhole cover with wet paws. Now that family is asking how it happened while warning other animal lovers. ABC 7's Jackie Kelly spoke with them today about their devastating loss. Scott, Jacqueline, I'm standing in front of the manhole on a street where the dog owners say people walk back and forth on a daily basis. They say they hope some good can come of this tragedy. It's just so hard. Debbie McDermott said that she and her husband Lynn bought their 70 pound Great Pyrenees Charlie just four months ago. He was our home. He was our family. He was the love. He was the joy. But on Saturday, a routine walk down Dade Avenue turned tragic when Charlie was electrocuted when walking over a streetlight manhole. He had fell to the ground and um, then he just his tail was wagging and um, Lynn had to like pretty, try to move him off of that. He realized that he got shocked and then Lynn's hand got shocked as he was moving Charlie and then Charlie started foaming at the mouth. McDermott said paramedics pronounced her dog dead at the scene. FPL says once aware of the situation, they shut off that power line until it was fixed. But to, to lose your dog in four months, you know, um, from something that could have been, it's negligence. Like, I, I just feel like we should still have Charlie today. But through all their grief, Debbie and Lynn say they hope someone can learn from this tragedy. The only way that we can wrap our minds around this and our hearts is to know that maybe Charlie his legacy continues that he's going to save other children, human beings, anybody, you know, from being electrocuted, something that should not have happened. That was ABC 7's Jackie Kelly reporting. The city of Sarasota, who owns that manhole, says the dog was electrocuted due to a burnt wire underground in the pool box that had come in contact with the metal lid. The wire has been repaired and workers are performing precautionary inspections of other boxes in that area. Sarasota County Sheriff's deputies make an arrest in a Nakoma shooting from over the weekend. Kevin Finley is charged now with shooting on Myrtle Avenue on Sunday. Deputies say the victim told them Finley was angry over losing his car keys, and then Finley shot at the victim five times with a rifle, hitting him twice. The victim was treated and released from a nearby hospital. Finley is now charged with attempted homicide and possession of a weapon by a convicted felon. Manatee County Sheriff's deputies are looking for a man who broke into a landscaping company over the weekend. Deputies say the man in these photos broke into down-to-earth landscaping in Bradenton, cutting locks off storage trailers and smashing the window of a truck in order to steal items. If you recognize him, call the sheriff's office. Manatee County Sheriff's deputies are also looking for a man they say broke into three cars and then used a stolen credit card. Deputies say this man smashed the windows of three cars at the YMCA on Lakewood Ranch Boulevard in Bradenton. He then used a credit card stolen during the burglaries at Publix shortly thereafter. Again, if you recognize him, contact the sheriff's office. We also have more information about these recent crimes happening across our area. Head over to our website, mysuncoast.com, for more information. All right, so uh, quite a few storms across the area right now, drenching some areas. Let's get the latest on that and more with Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan. Bob? Yeah, the first week of fall sure seems like the uh, week of summer, whatever week you want to pick there. Showers and storms continue to fire up here and there across the sun coast along the sea breeze with a south to southeast wind. You can see the rain uh, just now entering the picture here. We had a little brief shower earlier, and now storms are filling in. This is the last shot that we got here. Uh, from the Van Wazel Tower Cam indicating some heavy rainfall downtown Sarasota right now. And we had some strong cells up into Manatee County. Those are now pushing on into Pinellas. As a result of the Bay Breeze, they really fired those storms up. And then you can see this action here. This is also because of Charlotte Harbor uh, aiding to these storms. Uh, just the fact that the wind flow coming out of there uh, is really firing the storms up near Punta Gorda. But you can see the general motion off from the south southeast to the north northwest right now. Notice how this is filled in just within the last half hour on this our loop and uh, the rain now in downtown Sarasota stretching out toward Lido and lightning strikes even along Longbow Key well away from the rain. So keep that in mind. Those are those dangerous bolts from the blue. It may not be blue skies where you are, but it's not raining and you can still get the lightning. So if you're close enough to hear the thunder and we're hearing it here in our studios, uh, you're close enough to get hit by the lightning. The tremendous lightning now along I-275 north of the Sunshine Skyway Bridge. The rain that was heavy over Palmview and Palmetto and Ellington lessening now, but still 
Uh, still some lightning strikes within the last 10 minutes there. Rainfall rates at one point were up to two, two inches an hour. And uh, right now near Whitney Beach, not much going on as far as rainfall, but down south of Bayshore Gardens, some pretty heavy rainfall along the Ringling Bridge. Coming down pretty heavy. This is drifting to the west, so Longbow Key, the south end, getting some heavy rain. Lakewood Ranch, you're getting rain now. More on the way as this cell is moving in your direction and will stick around for at least the next half hour to an hour. Gulf Gate Estates uh, had some storms earlier. Light rain now, but as I mentioned, more storms developing to the east of you, which will have a tendency to work in your direction. And this is the area of concern now into Charlotte Harbor, moving through Punta Gorda. That will enter into Port Charlotte. Northport getting some rain already. That will fire off more storms near Inglewood in about 30 minutes from now. More on our weather coming up in just a few minutes. Back to you. All right, Bob, thank you. We'll talk to you soon. The Sarasota Bradenton International Airport has a new police chief. Ted Cahuth started at SRQ four years ago as a traffic control specialist. Prior to that, he worked with both the Whitehall Township Bureau of Police and the Pennsylvania State Police Department for more than 30 years. He replaces James Carlino, who resigned from the top police position at SRQ back in August following an internal investigation. Supreme Court nominee Judge Brett Kavanaugh appearing on primetime on Fox News to defend his reputation this week. With his wife by his side, Kavanaugh denied he sexually assaulted Dr. Christine Blasey Ford. Another accuser coming forward, former Yale classmate Deborah Ramirez, says Kavanaugh exposed himself at, to her at a drunken dorm party in 1983 when both were freshmen. Kavanaugh denies that allegation as well, and President Trump is standing by him. I think he's a, just a wonderful human being. I mean, I, I think it's horrible what the Democrats have done. It's a con game they're playing. They're, con, they're really con artists. Christine Blasey Ford is scheduled to testify before the Senate Judiciary Committee on Thursday. Press Secretary Sarah Sanders says the White House is open to Ramirez testifying as well. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell said the allegations are uncorroborated, calling them a last-minute attempt to smear Kavanaugh. Happening in Florida, a new report on racial equity at public universities shows the University of Florida lags behind other institutions. The study ranks the University of Florida in the mid-tier with public institutions in the state and behind a number of peers nationally. The school received an F for representation equity, a C for gender equity, and B grades for completion equity and black student to black faculty ratio. School officials say the university has a variety of outreach programs designed to increase both application and enrollment of minority and first generation students. Miami International Airport, one of two airports picked by the TSA to test out a new security system meant to stop intruders. The pilot program will test emerging perimeter intrusion detection tools that have been used in other public venues. Lessons learned from the program will then be used by TSA at other airports nationwide. The pilot program costs $5 million and is being funded with federal money. TSA is sending a team to Miami by November to set up that program. Here on the Sun Coast, it looks like Ellington will not be getting a new movie theater anytime soon. In 2017, the Manatee County Commission gave preliminary approval to a plan to build a theater near the Ellington Premium Outlets. Some people who lived in that area voiced their concerns that it would bring more traffic to the area. But a spokesperson from Manatee County says the developer who submitted those plans for the theater has now withdrawn that proposal. No word on whether the developer is planning to propose a theater in a different location in that area. Still to come in your Suncoast News tonight, doctors warn of potential airborne toxins from algae and red tide. And a look at the predictions for the top holiday shopping deals this season. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Conquer your next adventure. Get a new Jeep at a great price during Jeep Adventure Days at Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Fiat in Sarasota. Shop the area's largest selection of new Jeep Wranglers or get the most awarded SUV of all time, a new Jeep Cherokee for as little as $19,999. Find the path to your next great adventure in the all-new Jeep Compass for just $17,999. Better prices, bigger selection. Go to Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Fiat in Sarasota today. 
Since 1972, Sleep King has provided quality mattresses and accessories at the best discounted prices available. Top brands like Simmons, Sealy, Serta, Beautyrest, iComfort, and more. With available free delivery, free financing, and free setup and removal. For a comfortable night's sleep with same day delivery, even if we have to carry it on our backs. Trust Sleep King of Sarasota. Buy it today, sleep on it tonight. The Player Center presents the wild Broadway season opener, Annie, get your gun. There's no business like show business. This slice of magical American musical theater will thrill you with the classic tunes of Irving Berlin. Call the Player Center at 365-2494 or visit us at theplayers.org. Annie, get your gun, September 18th through October 7th. Let's go on with the show. You now have the power to prioritize your Facebook feed and get local news and information from the team you trust. Go to the ABC7 Sarasota page on Facebook. Give us a like, then click following and choose see first. That's it. Customize even more by choosing notifications. Choose breaking news, posts, live videos, anything you want to see in real time. Take control of your news feed and stay connected to what's happening in your community with ABC7 on Facebook. The skills you develop as a soldier in the Army National Guard can give you a head start on your career. Gain practical experience with technology and equipment that will give you a leg up in the civilian world. Learn critical leadership skills and to be part of a team. Serve your community and your country part-time while earning money for an education. Visit NationalGuard.com to learn about the paid training and career opportunities available to you in the Army National Guard. There was this big bruise on my friend's face. I didn't want to see it. I didn't want to think her own nephew could have hit her. I didn't want to see it. My mother's bank account was emptied and her caregiver had taken control of it. I didn't want to see it. My father's refrigerator, there was hardly anything in it. That's unusual for him. It's tough to see that a senior citizen is being abused, physically, emotionally, sexually, or financially. Elder abuse is a crime. So see the signs, stop the crimes. Scientists at the University of Surrey in England have developed a blood test to tell whether you have skipped a night's sleep. The breakthrough could help police identify suspected drowsy drivers in traffic accidents or help employers in assessing fitness for duty. Participants skipped one night of sleep. Researchers then took blood samples and measured changes in the expression levels of genes. The blood test detected with 92% accuracy whether a sample was from a sleep-deprived or a well-rested participant. New numbers show how many patients Florida doctors are now seeing for algae-related health concerns. As Chris Grisby reports, phys physicians are worried about the long-term effects. Have you ever heard of microcystins or cyanobacteria before? No, no, never heard it before. It's a name we don't often hear, but could be causing us major health problems. On the East Coast, FAU researchers found microcystins in 100% of the people they tested, ringing alarm to doctors here on the West Coast. It does cause end-stage liver disease, liver cancer, and also they show animal studies that have been shown that it does end up causing colorectal cancer, testicular cancer, cancer and intestinal cancer. So it is a very, very huge concern for all of us. Dr. Parisa Matave says symptoms we're facing now like <laughs> coughing, shortness of breath and allergies and sinus flare ups could be our body's way of fighting these toxins. This is going to have a long term health effect eventually in five to 10 years. God forbid people are going to die, but we're not keeping accurate measures and accurate information about people. And without proper air testing, keeping your eyes peeled for a toxin we can't see or smell but is in the air will be difficult for people like Jorge Santana. The people in charge, they need to come here and let us know what can we do to prevent things. But if nothing has been said, then what are we? What are we to, to the upper rank? Well, Florida Poison Control says they have received more than 250 calls statewide this year about blue-green algae and red tide. Now your ABC7 first alert weather forecast with again. 
Get a look at the webcam here from Ram Wazel. Pretty nice afternoon. That's from 1 o'clock, and then you'll start to see a little brief shower moved through. Got the lens a little wet, and then more storms have been developing near downtown Sarasota. Uh, pushing out now toward Lido and the south end of Lombo Key, generating some lightning. Uh, and that is dangerous, even though it may not be raining where you are. If you can hear the thunder, you're close enough to getting hit. And there's been a lot of lightning that's really flared up. That West Coast sea breeze kind of pinned right along the coastline. And we had the east to southeasterly when you'll notice these showers moving off basically to the northwest. And the bay breezes, both on Tampa Bay and Charlotte Harbor, have really intensified the storms. Earlier today, we had some strong cells right there near Palmetto up to Ellington. And uh, looks like that now is off along the Sunshine Skyway Bridge just to the north, moving through Pinellas County. But this is the cell here. Not all that intense in terms of rough weather, but we have more storms developing behind it. And that will again cause uh, some lightning strikes to uh, be heard or be felt and heard across parts of downtown Sarasota, I think, in the next half hour or so. But right now, that rain pretty heavy in the uh, south end of Lombok Key. It is moving to the west. Uh, Bayshore Gardens getting a little bit of rainfall right now. And then down to the south near Venice, not a lot going on, a couple of strikes there with that cell, but uh, near Warm Mineral Springs in Northport, some heavier showers due to the outflow from this intense line of showers and storms that have developed and popped up this afternoon in the Sh Port Charlotte. Uh, stretching into Northport near Warm Mineral Springs as well. Uh, so that activity uh, is going to be around for a little bit longer. And then by, say, 8 o'clock, most of the rain should be over, uh, pushing out into the Gulf. Similar pattern to what we've had over the past couple of days. That's not going to change tomorrow or Thursday. By Friday, a little drier air will slip, uh, slip in, and we won't see as many storms around. The rain chances will be lessening. Uh, rain chances going up now for East North Carolina and even into northeast portions of South Carolina tonight as this tropical disturbance continues to head in that direction. Most of the models indicate and a lot of the forecasts are suggesting that the strong shear because of this system to the west of it will now allow, allow it to uh, really intensify too much uh, as it makes its way off to the northwest tonight and then eventually off toward the northeast uh, late tomorrow as it gets picked up by a frontal system and it looks like uh, in the center and not much of a center would clip the outer banks of North Carolina throughout the night tonight and tomorrow morning. Elsewhere in the tropics, we still have to keep an eye on what's going on in the eastern portion of the Atlantic. This system fairly uh, strong right now. There's a pretty good rotation you can see right there with a lot of deep convection developing as it moves to the west. That's left over from Kirk, which was a tropical storm uh, last week. Now, as far as temperatures go, they're starting to cool in places like Bradenton, Sarasota, and in Venice now at 87 degrees. Northport, you're at 88, but that's changing as we speak as rain is falling in Northport. 84 degrees at the airport. They can hear the thunder there at the airport uh, and it's uh, 96 on the heat index. The high today was above average 91. That's more like August as opposed to late September and normally we get up to 88. Normal low 73. It'd be nice to see that. But we haven't uh, had that much at all this week and it's going to stay warm. I think above average temperatures are expected. Well, what's good is that we have fast moving systems now moving across the uh, central and northern portions of the United States. And what that means is that if systems were to develop, like we're seeing with this, they're not going to stick around like we saw with Florence. The steering uh, current will be a little bit more uh, intense, and that means storms will not have that tendency to stick around. That's good for us here, too, uh, because typically uh, we don't want a storm to stick around for days and days and days. And uh, with fronts moving down every three to five days, that usually has a tendency to pick those up. Temperatures much cooler over the northern Rockies. Southeast winds turn to the southwest at 5 to 10 knots. There'll be a light chop out there. Extended forecast, I mentioned the less chance for rain on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We'll see plenty of sunshine, but this number refuses to go down. 90 degrees by Tuesday of next week. Jacqueline? All right, thank you, Bob. Let's take a look at your first alert traffic for the drive home. Right now, we are seeing two crashes in Bradenton. One is in the southbound lanes of US 41 at the US 301 interchange. Another heading west on Cortez Road at the 5th Street intersection. Scott? Well, for years, parents have learned that keeping a child rear-facing in a car seat until age two is the best practice. Well, now the American Academy of Pediatrics has updated its recommendation for parents to keep children in rear-facing seats beyond age two and as long as possible. Doctors say a child in a rear-facing seat faces less risk for serious or fatal injury if involved in a crash. Just because of the way their head and neck is and the way you know, when there is a big car crash, a huge mass or force, if they were to be front facing, then they, the head and neck would give them a bad whiplash. And with kids, it could actually cause much more damage. Dr. Grover agrees with the new recommendations and says when it comes to minimizing injury risk, safety should always come before convenience. 
Well, where will the best holiday deals be this season? BestBlackFriday.com has issued its predictions, and based on what retailers did last year, TV deals should be as good or better this year. There should also be plenty of deals on video game consoles and maybe even the new iPhones. BestBlackFriday.com predicts $0 down financing plans and up to 5% discounts for cash, pur cash purchases. If toys are on your shopping list, you may, however, want to wait until the second week of December. That's when prices will be at their lowest. Sears is running out of both time and money, prompting a new plan to save the company. The CEO, Edward Lampert, is asking creditors to restructure over a billion dollars worth of debt and is pushing to sell off real estate and brands like Kenmore. Lampert's number one goal is to avoid bankruptcy. Well, the slogan, America runs on Duncan, isn't just a catchphrase, now it's a name change. Come January, don't call it Dunkin' Donuts, you can simply just say Dunkin'. The Boston-based coffee chain is dropping donuts from the name as it focus shifts to more menu items. The company wants the rebranding to highlight its drink options and takeout foods, not just the sweet doughy confections. The name change will be featured on everything from storefronts to packaging to social media accounts. I think I refer to it as Dunkin' whenever I talk about Do it you? anyway. Yeah. I think of donuts. Yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Entertainment News is next. The final 2018 Accord clearance is now during our model year in clearance sale. Drive new Accords for just $249 a month. Get an Accord, the North American car of the year, for less than the competition. With more standard features than Camry, Honda Sensing, multi angle camera, turbocharged engine, and more. New Accords, just $249 a month. Your last chance for new Accords, all on clearance this week at your local Honda dealer. This fall, experience golf at a higher level, where the courses are exceptionally beautiful and incredibly challenging. On Alabama's Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail, enjoy unlimited golf, including cart and range balls from 112 a day. Beautiful, deadly, irresistible. Is your game ready for the trail? Call 800-949-4444 or visit rtjgolf.com for tee times and get your game on the trail. Gettle's got what you're looking for at Gettle.com. 17 new car brands, over a thousand used vehicles, prices and payments you can afford, credit help if you need it, and they pay cash for your old car. Plus, Gettle Pre-Owned Certified Plus means buying with peace of mind. Need service? Gettle's got that too. Gettle's got it. Visit Gettle.com. My name is Julius. I have cerebral palsy. I work for Farmer Jaffe Weising Law Firm. I do a lot of data entry and scanning documents. I want to increase my working experience to make the company much better. At the end of the day, it's good to think of the day's work and to think about what I have accomplished. Hi, this is Dan Marino. When your business recruits people with disabilities, everybody wins. To find out how, go to abilitieswork.employflorida.com. I witnessed him have two heart attacks in ICU. He went through seizures. We'd much rather have Aaron like this than dead. A lot of parents don't have that luxury. He can't talk. He can't walk. This is a condition Aaron will live with for the rest of his life because he abused prescription pills. Mind your meds. Learn more from the Partnership for Drug-Free Kids. We answered the call of duty and left our homes to serve in far-off lands. Now, we answer another call, this time at home, in our own communities, to respond in times of chaos, to use our strength, our skills, and our experiences to bring hope amid devastation and destruction. Together, as a team of brothers and sisters, we're continuing our mission to make this country a little stronger and a little better each day. We are Team Rubicon. 
In entertainment news, the story of Stephen Avery is not over. Netflix announcing the second season of Making a Murderer. They're calling it Making a Murderer Part 2, and it'll debut on October 19th. The 10-episode new season will provide an in-depth look at the high-stakes post-conviction process. The show followed the convictions of Stephen Avery and his nephew Brendan Dassey in the murder of 25-year-old Teresa Hallback. Viewers will meet Avery's new lawyer and watch her quest to prove Avery was wrongly convicted. Ben Affleck has reached his 30-day mark in rehab. A source told E! News the actor who, who has been in rehab since August 22nd is committed to getting better. Affleck's dedication to sobriety also means he'll be staying longer in the facility. The insider telling E! News that Affleck has been feeling more positive this time around. This is his third stay in rehab over a span of 17 years. Well, are you ready for more Harley Quinn? Suicide Squad star Margot Robbie is set to reprise the delightfully disturbed character in Birds of Prey. Warner Brothers, which is casting the other leads for the flick about an all-female superhero team, has scheduled Birds of Prey to hit theaters on February 7th of 2020. Oh. Seven-year-old Malia Emma has become an internet sensation after one of the most impressive national anthems ever for Sunday's LA Galaxy game. And since then, her performance has gone viral. And the rocket, the rocket, the bomb is bursting in her dad says she's been singing since she was a year old and has performed the national anthem three other times, but never in front of a crowd as large as the one at the StubHub Center in California. Oh my goodness, somebody needs to pick her up and sign her to a deal. I mean, what a voice. What? Incredible. Yeah. Outstanding. I can't wait to see her journey moving forward. She'll she'll be in uh, on iTunes yeah. very soon, it seems <laughs> like. Yeah. Well, stay with us. We'll be right back with more news and weather.